Hello and welcome. My name is Dr. Chera, and I'm a dentist at 100 and Family Dental Care. If you're watching this video, you may have a toothache, or you may just want to learn more about tooth pain. Either way, we welcome you to learn and grow with us at 100 and Family Dental Care, where we not only treat our patients, but also educate them about their health in every single visit so that they can continue to take care of themselves outside of our office. We're located in Lebanon, New Jersey, and have a team of three award-winning doctors. In this video, we will be discussing the symptoms and causes of toothaches, at-home pain relief methods, what to expect at your dental visit, what kind of treatment can be reformed, and when to see a dentist about a toothache. Classic symptoms of toothache include sharp, throbbing, and sometimes constant pain. It can be accompanied by swelling, fever, and even headaches. There are many causes of tooth pain, and the most common is tooth decay. This is when bacteria invade the tooth and approach the pulp or nerve of the tooth. When the bacteria reach the nerve, it gets infected, and you have what's called a tooth abscess. The abscess can drain pus, or may be contained inside the gums. This is usually what causes the sharp throbbing pain and fever. Moving on, tooth fracture is another very common cause of toothaches, and fractured teeth hurt most when biting on them. There are many types of fractures as you can see, so feel free to pause the video and take a look at them. Just know that sometimes, the pain can come from your gums as well if you haven't brushed well and if food may have gotten stuck between your teeth, so definitely focus on your oral hygiene at home. Now something which we all experienced pain from as children was tooth eruption, which is when the teeth start to grow out of our gums. And in adults, this happens again with wisdom teeth. However, wisdom teeth can be impacted, which means that they don't have a path to erupt and they can traumatize the gums and the adjacent teeth on their way out, sometimes destroying adjacent teeth with time. Only a dentist would be able to tell on an x-ray and diagnose this issue. And lastly, we have a phenomenon called bruxing, which is basically when a person clenches or grinds their teeth, especially at nighttime. It's a habit that many people have and may be unaware of, and a dentist can identify who's a bruxer within a matter of seconds after taking a look in their mouth. Bruxing can lead to tooth pain, and there are treatment options available for these people. In addition, in some cases, pain is only caused by pressure when it's applied to the tooth unevenly. So if you have tooth pain and need pain relief before seeing a dentist, brush and floss your teeth well first. If the pain is from your teeth not being clean enough or food irritating the gums, brushing and flossing can resolve the issue and you may not need to see a dentist. You can also use warm salt water rinses or hydrogen peroxide rinses. Salt water can be made by mixing half a teaspoon of salt into warm water. A hydrogen peroxide rinse can be made by mixing equal parts hydrogen peroxide with water. You can rinse with them, but don't swallow them. If the pain is due to other reasons, the rinses can act as disinfectants, can reduce inflammation, and may reduce the pain. Other pain relief methods include cold or warm compresses and over-the-counter pain medications. Call your dentist. Your dentist may tell you whether you need to use cold or warm compresses before your appointment. If you use them incorrectly, the pain can get worse. Your dentist may also advise you to use over-the-counter pain medications such as Tylenol and Advil. The dentist may call the pharmacy for antibiotics for you as well in case you have an infection, and the infection can possibly be the source of the pain in that situation. Antibiotics themselves can reduce the infection and the pain. Do not just take the medicine yourself without consulting a dentist. It may mask the symptoms and make it difficult for the dentist to diagnose your problem when you come in, or it might lead to the infection getting even worse. So now let's talk about your dental visit. Your doctor will go through your medical history, ask you a series of questions to get an idea of the situation, conduct tests to diagnose the issue, and take x-rays if needed. So after your dental issue has been diagnosed, it can be treated properly. At Hunter and Family Dental Care, we make sure that our procedures are painless. The classic treatment for tooth decay is to have a filling or crown done, and you can see the results of decay removal and fillings. Most offices would give a temporary crown to the patient made out of weak acrylic material as a placeholder until they can order a permanent crown from the dental laboratory. At Hunter and Family Dental Care, we use state-of-the-art technology to design, fabricate, and place new custom crowns into our patient's teeth the same day. These crowns are aesthetic and restore the look of your teeth to a natural appearance. 
more advanced than deep decay, which has reached the nerve and may have caused an abscess, requires root canal therapy. Just hearing the word scares many patients, but it's not as scary once you understand what it is. The dentist gets the patient numb, removes the decay, just as they would for a filling, but then also cleans the roots of the teeth out as well. The decay, infection, and roots are cleaned out, and the roots of the teeth are filled, and the tooth is then restored to health and function with a filling or a crown. Fractured teeth can actually be protected by crowns from further fracturing, but if the fracture already reaches the nerve, the tooth may only be able to be saved by root canal therapy followed by a crown. If the fracture is too deep, you may lose the tooth as well. In a case where a tooth cannot be saved by root canal therapy, fillings or crowns, and the decay has damaged the tooth beyond the scope of repair, it has to be extracted. But don't worry, we pride ourselves in patient comfort and perform this procedure with your comfort in mind. We also can offer a plethora of ways to restore areas with missing teeth depending on the individual situations of our patients. And finally, we spoke about bruxing or clenching and grinding teeth earlier. This can lead to cracked teeth or worn down teeth which now have a traumatic bite which can cause the tooth to become sore. We may teach you how to relax your jaw to reduce pressure on the teeth and we may also make you a night guard to protect your teeth. Adjusting the bite back to its natural form only takes a brief moment, and once the traumatic bite is fixed, the pain and soreness can resolve. If your bite is not even, simply adjusting the bite quickly can relieve tooth pain. This is the easiest visit to resolve tooth problems. So when should you see your dentist about pain? Besides your six-month biannual checkup, if you experience tooth pain or even begin to feel sensitive and it lasts longer than two days, you should come see your dentist. Just remember, a toothache is not fatal, but it can lead to an infection which, if left untreated, can spread and cause serious health issues, some which can actually become life-threatening. We welcome you to Hunter and Family Dental Care in Lebanon, New Jersey, where we will diagnose your issues and treat you with the care and comfort that you deserve. We educate you on how to prevent these issues in the future as well, and just remember, no one wants to worry about their teeth. Let us take care of your oral health so that you can take care of everything else life has to offer with peace of mind. Once again, I'm Dr. Hardeep Chara from Hunter and Family Dental Care, and I hope you enjoyed this video and got to learn a lot. I came to Dr. Zhu with a tooth that was really painful, and I had a deep cavity that needed to be cleaned out, and um, midstream, Dr. Zhu decided to put a crown on the tooth, and I have no pain, and it is now taken care of, and I feel 10 times better. Thank you, Dr. Zhu.